typically this petition is the equivalent of an injunction. If there is any litigation in state court or in other parts, it brings a total end to them. And typically the vessel owner, the operator of the vessel and the cargo containers have this right under maritime law to go into federal court to tell then a U.S. district court, which has exclusive jurisdiction of maritime and admiralty claims, judge, we understand that there was an accident. We understand that damages are caused. Our vessel is worth X amount of dollars. I saw a figure there of about $90 million. The cost of repairs to that vessel is, let's say, $20 million. Therefore, Judge, we have $43,600,000 that we would like to deposit into the receivership of the court so that any and all claims that arise out of this event get handled with that if, obviously, we are proven to be at fault. What this does is it stops all litigation, it consolidates it in this one filing, and eventually then the operator and the owner of the vessel are going to go get a next parte order. Here what's interesting is there will be greater claims that the claims from the immigrants that were fixing the potholes on the bridge, right? From Guatemala, Mexico, El Salvador, and Honduras. They're going to be the last little face in the totem pole. Um, their claims are economic, obviously. They were making an honest living, right? And they were living with their paychecks. They were sending money back home to pay for their families. Um, I think if you combine all the immigrants that died, you won't even come close to the damages the United States is going to have and or the state of Maryland. So what we hope to do is hopefully we can get across to the families of the immigrants to say, act quick, get on it. Uh, there's a lot of a, a lot of a lot of parties are going to want to present claims and uh, make sure someone that knows what they're doing uh, gets a hold of your case because um, I hope they're just not forgotten, you know. Um, they're the little guys in the picture. I know we've seen the pictures and everybody feels terrible. My law firm has represented immigrants for over 30 years and this is the same song and dance. 